In this session we'll be looking at how to download levels, create your own levels and how to share them with your friends. When you open create mode you'll be given three options. You can either make a new level by clicking new or load one of your levels from my levels or download a level. First off I'm going to show you how you download a level. It will ask you to enter the level ID. Now you can find these level IDs from Facebook or Twitter or from your friends who have sent them to you. So you just type in a number, press OK and the level now has downloaded and it's asking what slot you'd like to save it to. So I'm going to save it to the slot number one and that's done. Now to play this level you click my levels. Now you see it's not here on the saves because it's not a level we've created, it's a download level. So you have to click on the downloads and there it is. Click it and now I can play it, edit it, delete it or go back. And there's the level I downloaded. Now I'm going to show you how you create your own level. Press new and here you'll be able to enter the level title and how big the level you want. 7 by 10 is actually the standard size level which will fit all on one screen. Now first thing I'm going to do is put a wall around the perimeter. Now if I click this yellow box up here, it brings up all the game elements I can use. So I'm going to select the wall and now I just tap where I want the wall. Now I'm just going to put this all right around the outside. The basic controls in the create mode are the paint pod, where you can select the elements you want. If I place down some omnis, like so, I can edit the direction they face at the beginning of the level by double tapping them, which brings up the alternative menu. From the alternative menu you can also delete items. There is another way of deleting things, is by pressing the undo button. If you keep pressing it, it goes all the way back. Now, the alternative menu can also be used for changing the colour of doors, for example, and other items too. Now sometimes you will have a scenario where you have two items on the same square. Now if you bring up the alternative menu, it's going to ask you now, do you wish to change the nibbles or the ice? So I clicked on the ice, now it brings up the alternative ice menu, which is corners. If you wish to delete both objects, just hit the trash can from the beginning. So you can delete like so, like now. Before you can test a level, you need to have a whoop and an exit on the screen. So first of all, I'm going to select a whoop. And I'm going to place whoop there. And now I'm going to choose an exit. And put that there. Now this is a pretty basic level to begin with, so I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting. By putting some water in here. And now we need some way of whoop getting across. Now I've chosen an ice block, but actually I don't want an ice block, but all blocks are bundled together. So to get a different type of block, you have to double to click the ice block and it will bring up the other menu. So I'm going to choose a red block. Now I'm going to make this level even a little bit more exciting by putting in some ice. So I'm going to put some ice in here. Putting a wall here. Now, I need ice corners to be able to slip into this ice orb here. So if I double click here, like I did with the blocks, it brings up the alternative menu. So I can choose the ice corner I need and the ice corner I need for this corner there too. Just like a normal game, you can enter and exit camera mode by double clicking. Now, I'm also going to put a monster in here. By clicking here, but he's actually facing the wrong way, so like you do with changing elements, editing them, you just double tap. Now it's asking, do I want to edit the ice or the monster? I'm going to click the monster, and now it's asking which direction I want to do. Now this level's ready to play. Once you've built your level, you can test it. It's always a good idea to test your level before you upload it. Once you are happy with your level and you wish to share it with people, the first thing to do is to give it a name. So if you go to Level Properties, we bring back up this menu. So I'm going to type in the name Demo. OK, and now I'm going to save the level. Now that the level's saved, if I press Return, 
go back and now click on my levels you'll see my demo level and the level we downloaded there is that's still there and then select the level you wish to upload and press share agree to the terms and conditions and now my file has been uploaded and my code is 116 so you can either copy that to a clipboard if you wish to send it into an email or just remember it and then you can post the news on Facebook or Twitter Final thoughts, the best thing to do is to start off by making 10 by 7 levels. Once you get the hang of that, you can try the bigger levels. Some people like to draw them out on a piece of paper first to help them plan. I hope these sessions have been helpful and good luck.